properties of quadrilaterals. So here we have the, uh, the first shape. And in the following shape, right, we've got a parallelogram. So if we were to uh, draw diagonals, all right, from each point here. So in other words, what's going to happen here is diagonals will bisect each other, which means that in this line here, this length is equal to that length. If we've got now the, with this bisecting line, this length is equal to this length. In a rectangle, diagonals will bisect one another. Right? So what we're going to do is let's bisect these angles. Right? And bisect these angles. Right? Very similar to what we did uh, with the parallelogram. However, not only will they bisect one another, but all the, um, the diagonals are actually equal to one another. So this length is going to equal to that length, which is also going to equal to that length, which is also going to equal to that length. And this property only works in rectangles. In a rhombus, right, if we were to calculate the diagonals, in a rhombus, pretty much all the sides are... Um, equal to one another. So this, 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 and this, um, these are all equal to one another. And we know that, well, this side is perpendicular to this side. This side is perpendicular to this side. Notice the hash marks uh, that I use. But again, all four sides are exactly the same. Now, in a, in a um, rhombus, all the diagonals will bisect one another. Now, these that bisect will actually form 90 degree angles all throughout. So that's the property of a rhombus um, that the diagonals will bisect each other and that the diagonals will bisect each other at a 90 degree angle, making it perpendicular to one another, all the, uh, the diagonals. If we move to a square and we know all in a square, all four sides are exactly the same. Now, if we were to find the bisectors right, and bisect the, uh, the square, right, find its diagonals, the diagonals that bisect each other, right, all the sides are going to equal one another. Very similar to that of a rect rectangle. However, this side here will equal this side, but it will also equal this side, and it will also equal that side. Now, not only are they the diagonals equal to one another, but we are also going to form a 90-degree angle within here. So, in other words, the diagonals will also bisect at... 90 degree angle to with one another. So the diagonals are perpendicular with one another. Looking at the kite now, right, we're going to bisect the vertex. So we're going to bisect this and we're going to bisect this. I ignore this little extension here. Um, so in the kite, we know this side equals that side. This side will equal that side. Now, the diagonals right, in these bisectors are just like the ones in the square and the rectangle. Um, or sorry, as the rhombus. They will bisect at 90 degree angles. So the diagonals are perpendicular to one another. 